It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We got Filipino wife number two. We got the backpack pack. Forrest G is ready in his bathing suit. My little mermaid looking beautiful today in her bikini. And I got my Kuya on scene. Hey, buddy. Got everything packed up here. Rolling out. Uh, going to the beach. Got this big old bag packed. Basically, we just got some pork in here. Ooh, if I do my showing a little tummy peekaboo. Got the grill all packed up with uh, charcoal. Got the buckets for the babies. We're gonna trade those cooks out in town. Yeah. Got my party pack, my picnic pack. All right, my little mermaid. All right, Maria Mercedes. Let's go for us, Jake. Bag of charcoal there, still rolling strong. Thanks. Still got over half to go. Beautiful morning here. Coat exchange spot here. All right, here we go. Get the cool you to rustle these things off the top. There's an old cat. All right, baby, get those off the top for me, though. How am I going to get them down from there? <laughs> Let the cool you get in there. That's why he's younger than me. He can get them. You can do 50-50. So we do a half coat, half royal, 180 on the exchange. And they'll 50-50 them, Sprite, uh, whatever you want. Only, only... Only 10. That's, that's fine, yeah. And the rest, Coke. Uh, you know what? Four Sprite. Do four Sprite. Too cool. Cool, you get those back on top of the trike. So 180 pesos to change them out. Now, if you come up here and you don't have an exchange, if I remember correctly, it's 100 pesos deposit, so it would be 280, 280 per case. But change them out, it's 180. They also have propane, uh, butane, butane accessories. This is James. This is our buddy's son. He rides shotgun with him all day long. Backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. Yeah. You got no reverse on these trikes, folks. You got to push. Manual reverse. All right, give you another look at my seat right there. Beautiful. On this 175 Kawasaki. Four stroke. Now let's go get this old lady some bread. There's Prince Hypermart. That's where we do all our shopping right there. I'm not sure what bread shop. Oh, right here. Mikey Mikey's. My keys. My demand wins Mother of the Year award. Goes to get out. Just goes and jumps to get her bread. She's so excited. Of course, Forrest G goes to follow her out in traffic. But old oh, single dad to the rescue blocks him. By the man. Uh, parental, parental fail violation. Look at this crew right here, folks. <laughs> Look at this crew back here. I observed that everybody's eating but the foreign guy. Oh. And, and the trike driver. <laughs> My buddy here, uh, did you offer him any candy? It's a gummy, eh? What, what, did you offer the cool one? Yeah, gummy, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. we can't understand what you're saying. You got three gummy bears in your mouth. <laughs> She's taking her sweet time. She's taking her sweet time at the uh, bakery over there. So the, the guy in the dark blue shirt, the one who told me to talk that day? Yeah. I didn't even recognize him. He was drunk. Hey, mother of the year. When you jumped out in traffic, your son tried to follow you and I saved his life. Uh, just admit, fail. <laughs> I should make you ride on the back. Center of gravity here, one of the center of gravity. 7-Eleven, busy place. Got the ATM machine in there. Sometimes there's 20 people in line, 30 people in line. Gotta pick your times. There's 
those bajack bajacks maximus country road headed towards the beach guess we'll be headed in a well the road's winding but from the main road i think we're just kind of headed in a northerly direction to get back here to this little beach area But there's a toll road. Oh, look at that old goat over there. There's a toll road over here that is so cute. And I'm <laughs> so it's a private road, right? So they're maximizing the fact that they're letting everybody uh, transverse their property. And they monetize it. Hey, because their property do what they want to do. But they've set up a little toll booth, a little toll road. So sweet. The girl holding her little brother with a backpack. This is Indi Liza or Indi Liza Beach Resort. Beautiful place right there. I have to check that one out too. The place we're going to is more of a local spot. Like I said, picnic table right on the beach, 100 pesos. The black Kubos are 150. Got a little sorry sorry store here. Here's is this it? Yeah, that's the toll road right here. <laughs> There's the lady. Was I lying? Gotta pay the toll. Folks, you gotta love it. Check out this little toll road. And look here, it says right here. Toll road, private road, the shunkies, hoppa hoppa. And oh, she's got Uling too, ice for sale. Well, let me come over here and find out. And if I do mind, tell us how much is the toll road? 50. 50 if you bring your trike. So 50 for the trike? Yeah, all. What if you're walking? Five, uh, five, pesos? five pesos? So five pesos each if you walk down the toll road. Or 50 yeah. if you come in in a trike. All right. Thank you. Salaman. <laughs> I tell you, too cool. <clears throat> like Checkpoint Charlie. That's what I'll nickname this place. Checkpoint Charlie. <laughs> so we're going to a place called Air Beach. Spin you around here. And there's several little spots in here, but this area is known as Shanky. Well, this is Shanky Beach Resort. I guess the one straight ahead is Shanky. I, I don't know, but we're going to the left. We just we just kind of walked through here, found found a table that we like. Hello, good morning. See how clean it is? You clean everything up. This is called Air Beach. So welcome to Air Beach. There's a little sorry sorry store over there. And we are here, folks. Hey, y'all see the stress on Monday? Uh, ladies, our table that we reserved is where? <laughs> it's not like it's a big crowd, but we just told Ate. We wanted that table over there. Forest G is ready to swim. Now look, it's low tide. We came here yesterday. It was high tide. And you can see there's not many rocks. In a lot of these places uh, where we go down that way, there's rocks. It's not good for the children. If they fall, they're going to bust their head. But right here, it's just nothing, mostly sand. And again, this is low tide. Beautiful day. Beach is uh, clean. And they got people here every morning cleaning up. Because I, I'll, I'm not going to lie, we came here yesterday and there was like five, six groups of people. All right. Welcome to our little area today. 
I'm looking underneath this tree. It's just beautiful. And this is our setup here. So one of these tables is 100 pesos. And if you want a Baha'i Kubo sort of thing uh, with a bigger group or to put all your gear, those are 150. Comes with a free cat. You got Vidjoki in here, which uh, Flo, tell everybody Flo won a Vidjoki contest last night. My friends were so proud of her. She won top prize, which was 100 pesos. The single mom bringing in the bacon, bringing in the cheese. All right. So yeah, so we're here. Like I said yesterday, uh, we talked to the lady. Just gave her 100 pesos. How can you beat that? Just right here on the water. And not too many people here, but like I said yesterday in the evenings, it's a pretty popular place because it's a local spot, you know. This dude here is ready for the water, and look at her. She is wasting no time making sand castles and look at my twins wonder twin powers activate there's my party pack you've seen this before but this little grill it's so awesome i'm not going to set it up on the table i'll set it up uh you know what right here i'll plant my bum right here and i can sit here and barbecue and basically, I do that little latch. Pretty solid little latch. Look at that smokestack. Isn't that so cute? Whoa! And so what I've done to maximize it, I put the extra tray over here for some extra, and that's all filled up. Now we're ready to go. The only thing I need is something to light it with, and we'll just use these leaves to get it going. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? All right. Yeah, Fatima, you get some of those leaves over there. We use that to light the charcoal. <laughs> Boris G, let Papa get his bathing suit on, man, and we'll go swimming, okay? All right, so my little mermaid's going after my Gucci wallet there. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. That's Gucci, baby. Show everybody. That is 100% pure Gucci. 100. Uh, 100, but. Bring, bring 200, baby. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a, a grande. Did you bring a glass? And, yes, I got two glasses for us. You got to do some drinking today, Flo, to celebrate. <laughs> Folks, I got American Idol here. She won. Well, no, it wasn't a single mom contest. It was, it was at the college. Baby, what you going to put my ice in? Get your skinners on that. Alright, we'll be right back, baby. Hey. <laughs> She's so excited about hunt. But, hey, mother of the year. Hurry. That's okay. Well that's 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 uh Fatima's way of thinking. Oh, no problem. Let's go. Six years of still training her how to be a mom. Yeah, so anyhow, this place is too cool. They keep it clean. That's one of the things the gentleman told me. He said, man, they clean up over there every day. And you can check out the big jokey machine. My little mermaid. Look at this cute little sorry, sorry store, folks. How can you not love this? So cute. And what you do, you come up here and you say, Ayo. <laughs> and I think uh, this gentleman over here has got food later on. Good morning, Mr. Kitty. Oh, and you got CRs back there. That says girls only, family use, and I think the men's are to the right. The ice is six pesos. The grande is 150. There you go. Here's how ice comes in the Philippines. You just put it in these little plastic bags. Throw it in the freezer. But you always have to make sure that the ladies don't accidentally get plastic in your ice bucket. She's looking for something to beat that against, a brick wall to bust it up. Oh, you can, there's a well over there. She got a, oh, there's my grande. You already gave her the money? 
Thank you very much, darling. Thank you. Oh, I need some change. Thank you. It's a 150 on the grande. It's a grande. But, sir, I only had two beers. <laughs> That's a big old beer, right? Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. So sweet. And it's cold, too. A lot of these local places you'll go to, the beer is not cold. And a lot of places won't have no ice. But she's got ice and cold beer. Good morning. Morning. Play your roosters. Okay, but you ladies don't understand. That's the cut cheese. It's not the it's not the bust up ice. We don't have choice. Next time I can't cut my cheese. <laughs> Folks, the stress I'm under here. And I didn't even realize this thing had a knife on it. This is a bonus. Oh, come on, get me a glass out, baby. Look at this. See, I, didn't even, I didn't know these things had knives on them. But yeah, I mean, it's a wine and cheese set, so you think that it does. That's a pretty good little cheese cutting knife right there. And it will bust up ice. Look at this. Look at this champion beer opener. Baby, put your skinners on my grindy so I don't drop it. Gracias por su hospitalidad. Now, go ahead and slow pour me a beer over there. Okay, you may proceed. You're getting better at your mother's skills, but... How does this fold up? There's going to be a strategic way that it folds up. Here you go, put my beer over the back in there. Good job, fucking. Cheers to you, my friends. I want to thank y'all for joining us on today's show. Thanks to you watching our videos, watching my show, listening to my voice. You allow me to live this lifestyle. And I certainly appreciate you. I'm going to showcase your beauty. <laughs> Move it out. Alright, so gentleman's over here ringing the bell. <clears throat> we'll see what he's got. That's how to get your attention. So what we got in here. Right. Pack with ice on the top. Mm. Mm. How much? This one. 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 This uh, this is 3510. Yeah, get the small ones for the babies, not the big ones. Get the small ones because they usually melt anyhow. No need to get the big ones because they'll, they'll melt before they eat them. Small ones are perfect for the babies. You like grape, James? That's some more flavor he likes. Ooh, that's ice cream on the stick. Oh, red tin tin coming in trying to get in on the action. Yeah, two flavors. Good job, buddy. My little mermaid going to town. 75 plus 75 plus and 85. Share Yeah, if I do my share. Share means 50 50. 
Good job. Force G's using his uh, slipper as a scoop. Good job, son. Yeah. Fatima, I'm showcasing your beauty. Peekaboo. I'm trying to get Fatima to get a belly ring. But she doesn't want to deal with the pain. She, she's a little bit afraid of pain. <laughs> Watch out, he's got sand on his hands. <laughs> yeah, he got sand on it, baby. Let me know how that sand tastes. Tastes good. <laughs> Now you ladies gonna charge me an extra 100 sitting at this table. As long as we don't bring foods here. <laughs> well, you got foods in you got foods in your mouth. <laughs> I'm just messing. With you. Well, have a seat next to your sister so I can showcase both of your beltes. Forrest G, give that back to James, buddy. <laughs> Poor James. Well, James has got one here. James got two anyhow. You got another one, buddy? <laughs> James got two, so Forrest G just snaked his uh, popsicle. But folks, we are blessed. Let me show you what we got here. We got... Uh, some cuts of pork. Now they're not pork chops, it's not pork belly. But I'll be honest with you, it's challenging to find pork chops at the market and there's no pork steaks. A couple of beautiful pieces of corn over there. Yeah, so there's no fresh options here. What do I miss about Angeles City? Fresh options. Why? Because I can get great pork steaks and I love to barbecue pork steaks. Haven't found pork steaks yet. Pork chops, a challenge. Um, chicken, no problem. Go to Magnolia. Chicken's uh, is, is okay. We get chicken wings, chicken legs, whole chickens at Magnolia. But the pork, so far, unless somebody kills a pig and you tell them exactly what you want, uh, it's a challenge to find pork steaks. Not complaining, just sharing differences in living in the Angeles City versus living out here in the province. This little spot is truly perfect. Plenty of room for the babies to run. Underneath this shade. Perfect little spot. Uh, Forrest G just ganked James's other uh, popsicle. The food gangster like his mother. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, baby. Absolutely beautiful. That beer, pouring that beer is beautiful. You want the water? I fill this thing to the brim just to transport it over here. But now what I gotta do? Well, actually, no, I don't need to do that. I just keep this as a reservoir, and then I'll just cook on this side. So you can see, it's got two little trays to it. You can cook on both sides. When you're portable, just use this as a reservoir. So get some leaves in here. And these things should go up like, uh, like no problem at all. I'm gonna see though. See, so that's the joy. That's the joy of this little grill. It has both sides. I know it's, I might seem like a simple person, but a barbecue and go to the beach all the time. And you're constantly trying to improve your packing plan. So see, now this will go over here. This will be my reservoir. Big pieces there. Build a little pyramid. A little mermaid. 
Grab that lighter out of there. Gracias. Let's see if these leaves will do the trick. They might not burn. Nadi mana cuma kau plastik dah? Plastik bagi kita sa? I want you. Luckily, Filipino wife number two wanted bread, and so now we have uh, some paper here. Self-light and charcoal, folks. You got to get it going yourself. And folks, my little mermaid. So we got these hot dogs that nobody likes. Little bitty ones, but you got to peel these things. If you're not familiar here in Southeast Asia, all the hot dogs they're individually wrapped, and you got to unwrap them, or else you'll be cooking plastic on there. Got my little mermaid and my buddy here on. Assisting? Plastic, no, no plastic. If we use plastic to start the charcoal, it don't taste delicious and Al Gore will not call us. <laughs> this is my song to you, honey. You look wonderful tonight. Evening. They went with a different technique. They just loaded it all up. My technique is a little more low and slow on the barbecue. And they just get the fire as hot as they can get it to cook as quickly. Just different strategies. So I've observed you using my Lamson Sharp barbecue tools to scrape the grill. I know, but baby, you know these tools are made in America? A lamps and sharp? I don't care. <laughs> Do you care about me making delicious barbecue yeah, yeah, pork yeah, chops? Yeah. Okay, as long as you care. There's a lot of grease though. And I, I noticed that you use this tree as your drying rack here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you gonna make a big sand castle with that bucket? Yes, sir. You want Papa to help you? Yeah. Okay, Papa gonna help you. We're gonna make a big sand castle. Baby, now my lamps are sharp, I'm not gonna grip the pork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's shine shine in there. Good job, put some in there, James. Good job, Maria. Fill it up. Help fill it up. I've got water in there now. Not enough. Okay, hold on, that's enough. Okay, make a flat spot, Flo. Oh! 
Oh, broke the bucket. Watch out. Make a hole. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that sand castle, Maria. That's a big one, huh? There you go. Now you got two sand castles. Daddy, huh? he needs more water. Okay, more water. More water right So <laughs> hot. Come on, son. Many crabs here a few minutes ago. We're gonna try to catch some of these crabs. They're little baby crabs, but they go down in the sand. Uh, you see him? Ah, no. This. There's a bunch here, but before there was like 30 of them. I think I scared them off. They just burrow in these holes right here. See him? Come here, Maria. See the, see the... Oh, Lord. Did we, did we get any? Oh! I don't see any, Maria. Don't matter. This is good sandcastle mud, anyhow. Alright, we got enough. Put that more! Okay, you carry this bucket back. Let's go! Go! Dai put, dai ibu tak kau nih trash kan dai, lo, putus. Mana dai na? Mana na? Masih matar makan info. Okay, where you want it, Maria? Oh, oh, hold that plastic. Sorry, baby, this your wash bucket. Now put away from the fire over here. Ready? Yes, sir. No! You break it! Look at that, Maria! Yay! Super Dad! What do you Look at that sandcastle, sweetie! What do you break? <laughs> well, that makes it easier to make sandcastles. <laughs> Sorry about that, Fatima. I'll get you a new one for our anniversary, baby. Come here and give a close up of this castle. Maria, what do you think, sweetie? Beta. Yeah! Okay, put an A on there. Iku on na. Kata James. Egang. Back up just a little, so you don't burn. There you go, right there, right there. Good job. Egang na. No. Forest. Go down there and get some water with your bucket. Daddy, it's already broke. It's okay. It'll hold a little bit of water. We'll borrow uh, Brother's Tabo. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not going to change. Hey, Jim. Have a seat, buddy. That's a good chair. You're big. You're big. Gih, pegau suatu kau. Itu. Itu. Itu na. Kuat na tu. Agak gila apa ni. Buak na jutanan. Buak na jutan ni. Here mark itu so. We have many in there. Iya. They hide ni. Maria, punasan mo ng ano si Forrest.
go, sweetie girl. Come on, let's go catch these crabs. Did you see some down there? Yeah, some. Okay, let's get them. But hey, we gotta sneak up on them. I don't see them. Before there was like a hundred of them. I guess we scared them into their hole. You want to walk out further? Hey, buddy, Ro. Yeah. Hey, James. Let's go for a walk, everybody. Come on. That's beautiful. Beautiful day, folks. Man, you can walk 100, 200. You could go at least 250 meters and still just be up to your ankles. It's just shallow. Just shallow. But now at high tide, it's perfect for the babies up there. They could play right at the edge of the of the water. You can be sitting on that picnic table. Good parenting skills and supervision. Fact, you might look so beautiful today in them Daisy Dukes that are two sizes too small for, but that's the way I like them. Like on that movie. But said she's a size six, but she looked good in a size four. My lady's about a size eight, but looks good in a size two. That's the that's water. Yeah, there's a the water. You wanna come look at the boat? Yes, sir. Alright, let's look at this boat over here, Maria. I'll give you a close-up. This boat, a little fishing boat. Let's see what kind of anchor. All right, his anchor, let me get over here with the right lighting. Oh, my shadow's going to mess it up, but there we go. Um, the anchor is a rock tied to a piece of bamboo. And this is called the Dennis Dino, or Dennis Dine. A one-man or two-man fishing boat. the stern back here obviously a little stainless propeller rudder and there's the engine down in there you can see it get you down in there there's the engine and it's just beached on a piece of bamboo it'll go back out when the tide comes back in let's go my dear mercedes just be careful of those holes. The holes are deep. See these holes right here? Those are small, but you get on out here, the bigger holes. Ooh, that water is warm. Life is beautiful, my friends. It's what you make it. This day is tossing me 100 pesos on the picnic table, 50 pesos on the toll road, a couple hundred pesos on the track, so we're at this 300, 350. A uh, kilo of pork, I don't know, what was that, 250? 600 pesos we're at. Beer, 150, that's 750. Just a little vegetables, 100, 850. Bread, 1,000 pesos, 1,000 pesos all day long here at the beach. And look at these smiles and memories that we're making. I'll buy that for 20 bucks. All damn day long. Until I'm broke, in debt, bankrupt. Don't give a damn. Because you don't get but one go round when these children are young. You don't get but one go round to create these memories at this age, right? So I'm going to create as many memories as I possibly can with these kids. Because when they're 14, 15 years old and want to hang out with their friends more than they want to hang out with old single dad, I ain't worried about it so much. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. But right now, they love hanging out with me. Whoa! Love hanging out with Papa. So I'm investing in memories. Get the fish, Fatima. You can eat that fish, baby. Anything fucking mom can drag out of the ocean, she's going to try to eat. 
Good job for us, G. Helping sister. The sand is sticky. Me and her came out here in her flip flops, which was not smart. Just put, sweetie, put your slippers in the bucket. Put your slippers in the bucket and carry the bucket, okay? Here, put Papa's slippers in there too. Can you put Papa's slippers in the bucket for Papa? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, here, put Papa's slippers in there, please. Whoa, there's one. And here comes two. Whoa, 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 get him, Maria. Thank you, sweetie girl. Let me pull this right there, go. Okay, go ahead. About the mine's over here trying to catch fish or crab. What you gonna catch, baby? So beautiful. About the mine, I'm showcasing your beauty. What was it? Fish. Little fish? Fish. Oh, Oh, babe, I'm out of battery. I'm low bad. I thought I did a thermal. Look. <laughs> Look, you burning those hot dogs, baby. You know how much I pay for them hot dogs? <laughs> she burning the hot dogs, baby. Panita na lang na, eh? Yeah, don't forget about the corn. 100 pesos. 100 pesos on this corn. Wow, that's good looking corn. Yeah, I like it. All right, Flo, you ready for the corn? Uh, two two ears of corn, 100 pesos. So they're about a dollar an ear, if I remember correctly. About a, about a buck and per ear of corn. Hey. Yeah, no throwing sand. You're gonna get sand on my corn. I don't want sandy corn. Flo, you're doing a good job. Ex except, except for them hot dogs. Oh, Flo! Go wash it off, baby. Oh, Lord, put it in the sauce. Get the sand off of it. That's an expensive piece of meat right there, Flo. Oh, Lord. We got a piece of pork rescue going on, folks. I'm going to put this up here out of the way so the babies don't get sand in it. They're over there throwing sand. Look at that, folks. Burnt hot dogs, courtesy of my little mermaid. Oh, Lord, and look at this corn. Lo, you forgot my onions, baby. Put them onions on there for me. Just throw them on there. You're gonna cut them up? Just put them on there. Just put them on there. Put the fire to them. What is cooking? You put the, you put the heat to the meat, put the heat to the vegetables, throw a little spices and some sauces. That's all you gotta do, folks. You don't need to chop them onions up. Just throw them on the grill. That's all you got to do. Gordon Ramsay ain't gonna tell you that, but I just did. <laughs> How's that hot dog, baby? I thought you said you didn't like them hot dogs. No choice. No choice. You just don't want to wait. No patience. Let me see the hot dog. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> hey boy, get them sandy hands on no, no, my no, no, no. on my cooking no, no, table, boy. No, no. now <laughs> good job James got rent 1010 sneaking in here trying to get a nibble trying to get a morsel we love a tuya there you go for us G go to work buddy James, you want some tuyo? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe but he like a tuyo too. He like a tuyo? No? 
Ipatisan man tao na. Folks, again, truly blessed. Thanks to you, the viewer. Look at this. And folks, while they're eating, I'm gonna take this time to work on my tan. Fucking hot sun. I didn't take my shirt off earlier because I didn't want all y'all ladies out there to be all hot and bothered during the entire film. But now it's game on, ladies. Cheers to you. Another reason I decided to come out here and work on my tan, just to give you a little bit of insight about Filipino culture, right? Folks, Filipinos that uh, are outside the major cities, they're very shy folks. They're very shy. Uh, especially when a foreigner comes around, they get quiet. Um, you know, you can offer them things and they're like, oh, no, I'm not hungry, which they are. They're starving. Hey, you want something to drink? Oh, no, 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 thank you, sir. And so they're, they're very shy, especially here in the province. And so what I've learned to do is that when it's time to eat or what have you, I disengage from the group because I don't want to make anybody nervous. They're, at, you know... Uh, that don't want to come eat, what have you, that don't want to enjoy their meal. So I disengage. I get out of the area, out of sight, out of just out of the AO and let them eat and let them enjoy themselves and relax for a minute, right? So my trike driver uh, and his son, uh, they're hanging out with us for the day. But you know what? I've, I've only known a man for a week or so. So we're not real, you know, we're, we're not a. Uh, like me and Jason, you know, knowing each other for years, or me and Francis, what have you. My camera's been filming 4K 60, high bit rate out here in the hot sun. I mean, shit, probably what, 45 an hour worth of uh, hard footage. So now it's doing, a, it did a thermal shutdown on me. My GoPro would have done a thermal shutdown in about 12 fucking minutes in these conditions. The, the DJI Osmo Action 4 motors through great little camera if you're thinking about getting an action cam do not buy a gopro get you a dji osmo action four three whatever this is four yeah action four shit it's written right there you idiot read <laughs> it's a great little camera i've already burned through one battery and you know with the adventure pack whatever it comes with three batteries it'll make it through this little adventure but anyhow, what I was saying is, you know, when I first meet people and you invite them over to eat, you go out to eat, you stop by to get some food. When I first meet them, um, just let them eat. Let them eat, let them relax, let them get to know us and realize that we're not formal type people, that we're just everyday people, normal. Uh, and just slowly build a relationship, right? Uh, even in the village, when they eat, I disengage. Because I don't want nobody to uh, to be shy to come eat next to the foreign guy. Because they're just very shy folks here in the province. There's your cultural lesson for the day. So be mindful. Here you come the big, big foreigner going to your wife's village the first time. They're excited about seeing you. They're, uh, you know, intrigued, interested, curious. But in the same sense, they're shy. Her brother, I've known him for six years. When I come to the village, he runs away. After six years, that's how shy the young man is. Just for example, I uh, had a buddy that had a bar, and it was a, a Filipino bar. We would go visit him, and none of his customers would come inside the restaurant. He'd have to go out in the street and pull them in. Hey, come on in. They're fine. They're fine, you know, because they're very. a lot of people from the province are very shy uh, around foreigners. There's your cultural lesson. Act accordingly. Old single dad bringing that wisdom in here. For all you players falling in love with the village girls. Bridging cultural relations. Y'all see the stress I'm under here, my friends. It's damn near unbearable. What can I do? What can I do? Oh, what can I do? Stress is, stress is pretty rough. I know all y'all in America are probably starting to get cold, especially up north. Ah, my goodness. 
over a decade of living in the tropics. Haven't had to fuck with that coal. I love it. Now I do long for some cold weather. But maybe that's an unanswered prayer. <laughs> some of God's great some of God's what greatest gifts or unanswered prayer shit I've been drinking. Garth Brooks on. Maybe that's a prayer that needs to go unanswered. I know that cold is brutal. Maybe I just need a month in Montana up in Glacier National Park to get my fill of the cold weather and then get my ass back here to cold bear dark skinned women a hot barbecue grill it's warm water yeah birdie 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 that pepper right there going to town on it Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Ah. Like, like an alligator. Damn crocodile on it. Mm. Look at that onion right off the grill. Oh! Oh! Right off the grill. Look at that big old piece of corn. No bet. No bet. Anybody want some corn? No. Mm -hmm. All right, Big Daddy, go to town on this corn. Mm -hmm. Big Daddy, go to town on this corn. Mm -hmm. Good bite. Mm -hmm. Good job. That place is truly, truly blessed. I just put a, that onion on the grill and just eat it as is. That's all you gotta do. Mm. <laughs> Get him, baby. We'll put him in the box. Go! Go get him! <laughs> Don't let him go in the wall! In the wall! Right. No, no, no. He's in the hole right there. Get a close-up on him. He's under that hole. Little mermaid gonna get him. Get him, my little mermaid. I'm going to the bitch. Get him out of there, baby. Put him in the pot. He's violent. He had his he got his claws out ready to do battle. Got him? Good job, girl. Good job. Dale, 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 dale. You got claws on them, though, baby. Watch them. Yeah. Can I eat them? Can't eat them? Good job, my little mermaid. You can take them home with you and name them George. Jeez, the dude wants to fight on guard. This a badass crab right here. He ain't scared of shit. I want to eat that crab. Fangs out. You can't eat that crab, sweetie. I know Miss Joyce said crab is healthy, but not that crab. Oh, that water. 
really warm out here now. Let's go, Father Man. Come on. Let's go. Get in the water. Let's go, baby. Come on, get in the water, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, why? Come on, let's go. I think that's gold, Marquitos. Big tuna. Daddy shark tortoro, daddy shark. Here. Folks, we went to water, we come back, this place is packed out with students. <laughs> they did not want to leave the water. But it came alive. I'm telling you, it's a busy place. Come here in the morning, you're the only one here. Come in here in the afternoon, it's uh, spring break, Panama City. <laughs> hey! hey, hey. <laughs> Got Big Jokey going on. Her cousin's over here. Flo's covering up the boobies. Good job, Flo. Oh no, of course she headed back for the water. Get him, baby. Right, with like that, we'll load up our chariot. See what we got. We got a cooler, a backpack, one little boy. James will sit over there. Put this in the back with my little mermaid. Hey, be careful, that's breakable, okay? Don't break that bottle in there. It's very expensive, my gosh. You ready to go? James Day. James over there with his dad. Huh? And the grill. Don't forget the grill. Put the grill on top. So 
okay, or dito? Or dito? Again, folks, we're a place called Air Air Beach Resort. Got Vidjoki going on, palm trees. All right, got two little boys up front. All right, got the boys up front. The ladies in the back. My little mermaid got sand all over. Easy. About to mind get in there. Get that big one in there, girl. Pandemonium. Good job, Fatima. Ready to go, boys? All right, let's do it. Seat right there, my chariot. Reverse. Backing it up. Backing it up. Backing it up. Mount up. Watch out, James. Whoa. Take it. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful half day at the beach. Checkpoint Charlie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> Successfully navigated Checkpoint Charlie coming out of here. Good texting in the Facebook zombie land. There's nothing of the world going on around him other than what's in that fucking cell phone that ain't making him no money. Big problem here. Other parts of the world, people stay on their cell phone all day because it's their job, business, networking, and uh, doing marketing, what have you, trying to make money. Here, most people you see, you see staring into these cell phones, Facebook zombies, and never make a dime. They're not making a dime off of staring into them phones. That's why I say Facebook has enslaved this entire population here. Facebook is fucking pure evil. Strategically located in front of a sorry, sorry store, so you slow down. You're like, well, I might as well stop in and get something. So we get ready to go fishing. Out of the way, you dobies. 